Hello, this video is detailed tutorial on how to use all the features of Leonardo AI Image Generator. On the main page, you can see plenty of different options and features. You can access all the main image generation tools on the sidebar or in this menu in the center of the page. In the library, you'll see all the images you've generated. Okay, I'll go back to home page. This is community creation section where you can find images created by other people. Here, you can not only be inspired by somebody's creations, but also see the image description and generation settings so you can learn how to create some style or effect you need. You can copy image description to use in your generations or click on remix to use all the same settings for creating your images. Okay, I'll go to regular image creation mode first. I'm in classic mode now, and there is flow state mode, which I'll show you a little bit later. Leonardo AI has free plan, which allows you to have 150 free daily credits and create at least few dozens of images in classic mode. You have to choose some model and preset. Some of them are more universal. Others are more specific, like for creating anime or illustrations. Each model has its own set of styles. I selected cinematic Kino, and you can see that all the styles are for realistic, but little bit different images. I mean, composition and colors. You can use any contrast value, but high contrast can spoil images created with some models. Fast generation mode only available on free plan, but it's enough to create amazing images. Select aspect ratio here. Click on more to see additional image dimensions. Small and medium images won't look so different, but medium will cost you around 20% more credits. Number of images is locked on four. All the images you create here will appear in the community creations. Premium account allows you to make generated pictures private and advanced settings. Here you can see the model you selected before and for some reason you can select another model here. And if you do so, the model selected here will be used for image generation instead of the model you selected in the regular model selection tab. To avoid any confusion, don't change model here. Premium photorealistic feature can make your images even more realistic. You can enable negative prompt so you can specify which elements you don't want to see in your images. Enable transparency if you want to create images of some objects with transparent background. Tiling can help you create seamless patterns. Any generated images has some number value called seed. Fixed seed is for copying previously created images using the same settings, prompt and seed. And you can automatically add generated images to different collections in your library. My prompt will be lone traveler in the tropical forest and I don't want to see animals and insects in my images. Here are additional options how you can improve or create your prompt. You can create completely random prompt, improve existing prompt by making it more detailed, edit some details of the prompt with help of AI, and you can upload image and get detailed description of it. I improved my prompt and got few sentences. This feature can add some unnecessary details, so check improved prompts before generating images. You can see the generation cost here. In general, realistic images cost more than anime or illustration, Flux Dev model is really expensive too. Click here to copy or download picture. Remove background option works better when there's some recognizable object on the foreground. It works good for close-up portraits, for example. After applying any changes, you can still see the original image. Here is upscale image alternate feature which can fix small details and make image smoother. Here is original and upscaled version. Original image isn't bad, so upscaled version is not so different. Regular upscale is paid only. Now I want to get close-up portraits. Okay, this image consists face. I applied alternate upscale, image became a little bit better, and I got better result with remove background feature this time. The next feature I want to test is describe with AI. I should upload some image. Here is auto-generated image description. I'll remove negative prompt I previously used. You can see how close the generated image is to the original one. Describe feature works for any type of images. I'll upload portrait, for example. You can see that improve prompt option is unavailable because my prompt is longer than 200 characters. The images are really close to the original, but some details and composition aren't 100% the same because describe feature is not the same as image to image option. I copied seed value of this generation, enabled fixed seed, and as soon as I left all the settings the same, I got the same images in this generation too. But it works only if all the settings, including prompt, are the same. I edited my prompt, but still used fixed seed. You can see that images are close to previous generations but not the same because prompts aren't the same. Okay, and if you'll use all the same settings and prompt, but without fixed seed, you'll get different images in different generations. I hope it doesn't sound so complicated for you. I'll change aspect ratio, set contrast to low, and I'll use some different style preset. For example, fashion. These images look more like professional studio photos. Nice. And another example is stock photo style. Cinematic Kino is for realistic images, so all the style presets are variations of photography styles. Now I'll select anime model, 
and I'll try to replace girl with a guy using prompt editing feature. Okay, in this case, prompt generated from uploaded image doesn't have any mentions of a girl. You just can see such neutral word like person or subject, and prompt didn't change significantly after I tried to edit it. The same words are still used to describe this girl. I tried anime general and anime retro style presets. Don't forget that you can use alternate upscale with any type of images. Sometimes this upscale can improve your images significantly. There are not only models based on stable diffusion or created by Leonardo AI, but you can use Flux Schnell and Flux Dev models by Forest Labs. Flux Schnell is fast and consumes less credits. Flux Dev creates images of little bit higher quality, but it's really expensive. When Flux model is selected, you can enable prompt enhance, so all your prompts will be extended after you hit generation button. Good prompts are really important when you use Flux. These models are universal, so you can create realistic pictures, illustrations, or 3D cartoon images, for example. Result is really good, and for comparison, I'll use Flux Schnell for the next generation. Style will be 3D render too. You can see that generation costs more than three times less but the result isn't good as when I used Flux Dev. And you should know that part of the features won't work if you use Flux models. For example, negative prompt, tiling, transparent background, and image to image. It goes for both Dev and Schnell versions. Now I'll show you how to use image to image tool. I'll switch back to Cinematic Kino. After clicking on this icon, you should choose type of image guidance. There are image to image and style reference options available on free plan. I'll use style reference first. Now I have to upload some image. By clicking on the uploaded image, you can set the strength. Now you can generate whatever you want, and the colors, structure, surfaces, and textures of the objects will be similar to this image. Be careful with too high strength values because the generator can start building images from exact objects from the reference. For example, hair of the character can appear on the plants or trees instead of leaves. Now I'll create images with characters. There will be girl in the European city. Not bad. Looks like it's the same person on each image. I'll decrease strength and make another attempt. Still looks good. Click here to replace image with new one. Here is it. I'll set strength to ultra. Prompt will be the same. To get good results while using style reference, the model or preset should match the type of image you use as reference. For example, if the image is in anime style, anime model will provide you better results. Great, and standard image to image option. I'll use the same image I used as style reference. In prompt section, I'll just describe the image I uploaded. Style will be creative, for example, and I'll leave strength on 0.3 value. The generated images have different aspect ratio. I forgot to make them match. Click on the original image and here is match button. I increase strength to 0.57 and the generated image is little bit too similar to the original. I wanted to get something more realistic. Okay, this image is not so bad, but I'll try to improve it by applying alternate upscale. Hmm, original one was better. And if I'll set strength to 0.37 result will be even more realistic. Cool, of course you can make realistic photos look like anime or cartoon picture, for example. Don't forget to match aspect ratios. If this button doesn't appear, the aspect ratios already match. I'll use Phoenix 1.0 and 3D render style. Prompt enhance will be turned off because I don't want to see unnecessary details. Strength value will be the same. Okay, these three look like aliens. I'll make second attempt with higher strength value. For some reason, new generation looks like subtle variation of the previous one. I want to try color sketch style. Hmm. Okay, not great, not terrible. And what always works good is anime model and style presets. I selected anime semi-realism style. You maybe notice that sometimes Leonardo AI creates less images in one generation than it should. Honestly, I don't know why does it happen. In this case, it didn't generate anything at all. I made few attempts and got these images after I replaced words 19 years old, girl to woman in my prompt. In all other cases, it failed to generate something. Maybe generator decided that all the generated images with that prompt are not safe for work, and I received errors instead of images. I don't know. Now I'm going to show you how to use Loras here. They called elements in Leonardo AI. Laura is additional kind of model. You can add to main model and style preset. Here you can select up to four compatible with each other Loras. After applying them, you'll have to set strength value of each Laura. I selected Laura with vibrant colors and Laura which adds glitches to the images. Prompt will be enhanced. And here's the result. Images are really colorful, but I don't see the glitches, so I'll increase strength of corresponding Laura. Okay, here's how it looks. Loris are not only to add some specific style to your images, but some Loris add some objects or characters. In general, Loris can be useful if you can't get some style or effect with other tools, including image style reference. Here is how images look with the same settings and prompt, but without Loris. Flow state. Here you can also generate images, but with just few simple adjustments. Flow state doesn't depend on the amount of credits you have. Here are just four main settings. Vibe, shot type, lighting, color theme, plus aspect ratio, and prompt, of course. Generations are pretty fast. 
you can scroll down to keep generating new images. If you are curious why there is no model selection option, it's because here is Flux Schnell model used for all generations. Its style is pretty recognizable if you look at close-up portrait generated here. All the images generated here will disappear if you start another generation or reload this page. So if you like some image, you have to save it to your library here or download to your device. Upscale is paid. More like this button allows you to generate more images like this one, and there are additional options. You can animate it, add to canvas, and edit image there. Use as image guidance means that this image will be added to image to image tool in classic mode and remove background. Okay, I'll use more like this option. Not all the images are really close to the original one. Sometimes it works worse or better. And to the prompt section was copied the exact description of this image. On the free plan now, you can generate 300 free images daily in flow state mode. In the right upper corner, you can see how many images you already generated. Of course, you can generate not only realistic images here, for example, watercolor style. I'll edit my prompt to get images of princess instead of king. Okay, there are unnecessary words in the prompt. Here is how watercolor style looks. The next tool is real-time canvas. I'll select some colors and start painting on the input canvas. You can see how the output image changes. Now the output image looks too random, but if I add some prompt, for example, house and landscape, it will become clearer. So you can see that output image really depends on how you describe your sketch. I'll add some kind of roof. The higher creativity strength value, the less similarity between sketch and output image will be. Of course, there are different visual styles. For example, dynamic and cinematic. Maybe you notice that output image is not really clear, and there are lots of small imperfections. You can try to fix this with instant refine. Okay, image became a little bit sharper. You can add whatever you want, but don't forget to change prompt if it doesn't include added objects already. For example, I added these dots on the green background, and they became flowers on the input image as I wanted, because flowers can appear on the landscape which is mentioned in the prompt. And also here is upscale feature with few options. Upscaled image should appear in the library. Here is how look too high or too low creativity strength values. Additional way how you can enhance images created here is to use them in image to image feature. And here you can see second mode called input. If you enable it, the output image will be automatically copied to input area. This second mode is for adding some image and then editing it by drawing over it. You can upload some existing picture or generate it here. I created image of a house and trying to edit it, but generator doesn't know what I want to get because I didn't add any prompt. So I added words house in the forest and added some flowers so it worked better. Click here to upload your image. The disadvantage of this mode is that output image looks a little bit blurry, and instant refine spoils portraits significantly. But of course you can try to upscale output. Don't forget that you can undo previous actions using Ctrl Z or this arrow. I want to add some flowers to the girl's hair. I mentioned flowers in the prompt so these unclear blurry spots turned into flowers. And I decreased creativity strength so the flowers now look more similar to my sketches. And I'll try to upscale output. I'll check the upscaled images later. The next tool is real-time generation which is a little bit similar to previous one. But here, you just have to enter description of the image you want to get. And the output will react to any character changed in your prompt. You can see how the details changed and objects gradually appeared as I entered my prompt. Here you can set fixed seed like in the classic image generation mode, for example if you like the composition of the image you have now and don't want to change it. Here are available visual styles, and there are four sliders to add some changes to the current style of your picture. By default, all of them are in zero position so you can add or exclude some of these basic styles. And there are also creative and normal upscales. I'll check out the upscaled results in my library later. Wow, tune and anime style adds so cool atmosphere to the image. Images created here you can use in image to image too. Now I'll open the library. Okay, the upscale still didn't apply, but I'll use these images as reference in image to image to get pictures of higher quality. Model is cinematic kino prompt just briefly describes the image. Strength will be 0.46. I'm happy with this result. Nice, and I'll do the same with the image created in real-time canvas. I recommend not to use too high strength values in this case, because generated images will be too similar to the original one and you won't see significant difference. I decreased strength and as you can see, images became much more realistic and sharper. And the next tool is Canvas Editor. 
Here are different tool for generating and editing images with AI. Here are different models for creating images. Canvas mode defines what exactly you can do here. Text to image simply allows to create images inside generation frame. You can get up to eight images in one generation, but of course it will cost you more credits. Photo Reel and Alchemy are for making your images better and more realistic. Of course, you can change dimensions of the frame, so aspect ratio of the images will change too. Render Density is useless feature because it is for making small images but with higher amount of pixels. And Guidance Scale, also known as CFG, common for almost all the image generators, is turned off if you use certain models. I created two images of Tropical Forest. Now I have to decide which one will stay on the canvas. All the pictures created here will appear in the library. Now I can move this frame and continue generating or modifying pictures. I'll switch canvas mode to in-paint slash out-paint. In-paint is for modifying areas of existing image and extending it. Out-paint is for extending picture without changing existing parts. I turned off out-paint so I can use in-paint. I want to add some tropical fruits to this image, so I placed frame over the area I want them to appear. Only first image contains something like oranges, so I'll accept it. You can see that the part of the existing image under the frame didn't change, but appeared the new part of of the image, I'll use the outpaint feature. I'll turn it on and prompt will be the same. For some reason, inpaint and outpaint features worked in the same way, as you may be noticed. Here is masking option which allows you to brush over the area you want to be modified so the rest of the image will be unchanged. So I'll select this area and place the frame over it. The dimensions of the frame can be whatever in such cases. You can move this spot freely. Okay, I'll disable outpaint because I want to edit area inside the image. And prompt will be vibrant golden sunlight. Okay, the selected area didn't change significantly, so I'll put this spot closer to the sky. And in paint strength will be set to maximum. There is something strange on the first variation. Second one is pretty good. Use eraser to erase images, sketches, or parts of masked spots. Here is sketch tool. You can set brush size and color and click here to upload some images. I added some stock photo of a factory and I want to show you how you can use Outpaint to blend two or more images together. I want to create seamless transition between these pictures. In the prompt, I mention things you can see on both images, forest and clouds. First variation is pretty good. Second one is just opposite to what I wanted to see. The next canvas mode is image to image. You just should place the frame over the area you want to modify. Set strength value and of course enter your prompt. As you can see, the input strength is not really high. So the generated images don't have the same composition of the objects. So for the next generation, I'll increase strength value. So the original image will be more recognizable in the generated one. Here is it. And now I'll try sketch to image mode. I'll try to draw sun on my image and then turn it into something more realistic. Sketch will look something like this. Now we'll see how sketch to image will work. Prompt is just sun and there will be three variations. I thought it should be less cartoonish, but okay. I'll erase this sketch and I'll make second attempt, but this time I'll create some clouds. I'll use some blue colors in my sketch. Here is corresponding prompt. Two first variations look bad, but third one at least remains clouds or smoke. Okay, and final attempt to create something with sketch to image. I'll create flowers. The main point here is to use colors not too different from the overall image palette. Finally, I got something not so bad. Universal Upscaler is for making your images larger, smoother, plus you can apply Creative Upscale, which will add some details. Upscale in Leonardo AI is expensive compared to some other image generators. One image will cost you 30 credits. I'll create three upscaled images, regular upscale, with medium creativity strength and high creativity strength. First disadvantage is high cost, and second one is that you can wait for hours until the upscale process will be done. All three images are ready. High creativity strength made this portrait creepy. Medium strength created almost the same effect, and regular upscale worked pretty good, but made image a little bit too smooth. Look at hair, it looks really nice. And if you are curious why I didn't show you motion tool is just because here's nothing to talk about. It's paid only and creates animations like other video generators did two years ago. Here are two examples. Fine-tuned models are good quality models added by developers of Leonardo AI. Community models are created by other users, so the quality can be whatever. Of course, you can create your own model. But honestly, existing models and style presets, Loris and image-to-image -image options are enough to create almost whatever you want. Plus, don't forget about canvas mode and real-time canvas tool. But if you really want to create it, you should create your dataset to train the model or LoRa. This means that you have to upload at least few high-quality images Click on Start Training. You should decide what exactly you want to create, Model or LoRa. Then Set Trigger Word, which should be added to the prompt to activate Model or LoRa. 
choose category. Advanced settings are for more experienced users, so change them if know what you are doing. Training process will take some time. On the free account, you can create only one model or Laura. 